Welcome in everyone. In this video, I'm going to be covering an older one and bringing it up to date with the current format that I'm using. This is My Guide to Expert Rift Bosses Part 1. Throughout this series of expert rift guides, I am going to be lowering my rift power to match up or be lower than the enemy threat. So it's a more realistic situation. I don't recommend that you take your mythic gear off at any point during the rift. I'm doing this for strictly for demonstration purposes. And in these videos, I'm predominantly using warrior class, but all you have to do is swap out my Logan for your Grim if you do play Alchemist class and it all should work just as well. So I'm going straight in with Renegade of the Rift. He is an expert Rift boss, he's exclusive to the expert Rift. I've lowered my Rift power to a sub matchup, it's 409 Rift power versus 405 threat. And for this boss I'm taking Ericsson and Azar along with the five triangle weapon which I've already showed you and the maverick gauntlet as well to generate rage quickly now what I'm doing in this uh, fight is I'm using Ericsson rage to deal quite a lot of damage to these goblins as quickly as I can and since I'm using the maverick gauntlet with the uh, protect and focus weapon I can generate rage really quickly I don't recommend uh, using this style of fighting if the threat is too high or if you don't have Maverick Gauntlet to generate rage that quick, you're gonna have to go back with Weaken. And I would rather take Logan or Grim in this sort of fight if I knew I couldn't finish it quickly. Now, each of the expert Rift bosses have got a special skill. It either happens when you hit them or when they hit you. And when you hit this boss, he puts uh, dots on you if he can put burn, poison, or acid on you. But the caveat for him is he puts it on himself as well. So if you take Azar or Tristan to cleanse the dots, all you have to do is cleanse the dots that he puts on you. Then he will kill himself with the dots that he's put on himself. And it really is as simple as that for this boss. In this version of this video, I'm going to skip over some of the normal rift bosses that I had in the first one. But if you do want to check those out, the video is still there. This next boss is a despoiler of the rift. And these big demon enemies, these big demon bosses, they all work in the same way. You want to take Garen to delay them. When you put a status effect on any of these demon bosses, it charges their power. So every time you, you want to weaken with Logan or Grim, which you do need to do to keep the damage down, you have to have Garen ready to delay the end of boss's skill straight after that. And then this one is made even more trickier because his special skill is when you hit him physically with either a punch or your weapon, it has a chance to buff him and if it gives him fury on top of the weaken, then he's going to start dealing a lot of damage to you. And actually at the end of this boss fight, it did buff him when I hit him and it gave him fury so you can see just how that works. It is only ever physical hits as well, it's never when you hit with a hero power. So all the expert rift bosses, they do something when either they hit you or you hit them. So you do need to watch out for that and you need to be careful. As you can see in this clip, I'm only ever using Logan Rage when I have Garen ready to delay straight after. And I'm avoiding hitting that boss himself because the last thing I want to do is buff him. Now, I have matched my rift power to the enemy threat. So it does make it a little bit more harder for me. But this is a demonstration of the sort of fights that you will see when you are newer to the Expert Rift. And there you go, did you see him get fury at the end there? And again, once the boss is down, it just turns into a regular fight. So you, you can take your time and you can just maintain your weak and maintain your protect. And it just, it, everything becomes a lot easier once you do have that boss out of the way. This is certainly one of the tougher bosses that they introduced with the Expert Rift. This is another exclusive one to the Expert Rift. You won't find him in normal. However, all the big demon bosses, you do see a few of them in Expert Rift. You get Lord of the Rift in the normal Rift and they all work in exactly the same way. Moving on, in this video, I've uh, progressed quite far through the Rift, so the threat is quite high now. So I've equipped all of my mythic gear. Uh, I'm just displaying it on the screen here. I've got one weakened chance. Uh, four defense charms and the rest are all warrior hero charms 
Uh, there's the sword. And I'm using that with the Maverick Gauntlet in all of these bosses. And this one is Deceiver of the Rift. I am taking Logan and Garen. And this is one of the ones that I recommend Expose Resist for. As ever, the first round is just like a normal fight. I've sped this video up quite a bit uh, to just get through this. Uh, but yeah, what you want to do is try and go into the second round in all of these bosses. Try going to the second round with your rage charged, both of your heroes charged to give you the best chance. And into round two now, he can expose you with his basic attack. And this boss's special skill is that when you hit him, it charges his power. So you need to have Garon ready to delay that. And you see there, he exposed me. But luckily, I just used the Protect Potion. which saved me from it. And now when I swing the sword to get Protect, it will overwrite that Expose. In this fight, your goal should be to clear out the archers as quick as you can. In this video, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the boss to display that it charges his power. But I'll quickly move on to the archers. I managed to deal with them before it can expose me again but in every round I'm crossing my fingers in this fight and just hoping it doesn't expose me. I would highly recommend an expose resist so you don't have to do that and you don't have to rely on the RNG. But that is how you deal with that one. Uh, Garen is there to make sure he never gets his power off because his power is doom which takes a third of your total armor and health pool every turn. And now the last boss that I'm going to go over in this video is Butcher of the Rift. Now, you can see that I'm attuning my armor to Goblin here because in the time of recording, I actually thought it was Breaker. But it's not, it's Butcher of the Rift and he's a lot easier. This one is from the normal Rift and the normal Rift bosses are pretty much the same. They have slightly different powers or when they hit you, they do something slightly different or when you hit them. Um, but they are pretty much the same and they are just upscaled versions of the ones that you find in normal rift So they're usually a lot squishier than the expert rift ones and in this video I got hit with the maintenance timer as well and this thing just spams your screen everybody's seen it when you're in the rift um, So what I opted to do is I had I had Ermus and Ericsson and, my, and what I did is I just hit it with everything I could as quickly as I could and I just spammed rages out. I used Ermus to heal and I just tried to kill it as quickly as possible. But as you see, one rage and one base nearly killed it. So you see it's quite squishy. Uh, I would have probably taken it a little bit slower under different circumstances but it does give quite a good representation of how much harder the expert exclusive bosses are and there you have it this is part one of my guide to the expert rift subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I have been James B09 good luck out there